If you've got a photo where there's something in the background like this yellow ball and you want to remove it, you can use Darktable to get rid of the image. So I'll load Darktable up now. We go over to Import and Add to Library. And Darktable is an open source free software available for most major platforms. Okay, so there is quite a lot of options to go through, but uh, I'll just focus on what's needed. So yeah, there's, uh, if you type in retouch and then click on the icon here, that'll bring it down. By default, we've got the uh, heel symbol. We want to change it to cloning tool. So what we're about to do, we'll grab to choose the circle as well and just give a quick demonstration of what's going to happen. I'll expand it out using the middle mouse button, the mouse cursor. It'll effectively take um, something from one section of the screen and do it in the other. But if we leave it like that, we've got the in focus grass here, which isn't going to look right. So I'll get rid of that. And then we zoom in, select the circle again. I'll do smaller circles and then clone it from here. And then I'll do another one to clone a bit higher. Grab another section and go again. So what we've got here is the circle in the middle and there's also a bleed section. So I can choose how much is um, going to be expanded. And also if I press shift in the mouse cursor, we choose how much is, um, it, it blurs around the edges. Once that's done, we've got this little section here on the left that is uh, it's not going to be shown right. So I've got to select a different tool for that. You add path. So I'll then start clicking around the edges and then right click to finish. And then it selects uh, the area it's going to clone from. Now, if you look around the edges, it's going to be a bit faint to see. There's a large area to do it. So I've got to change the feather size. So holding shift and scrolling with the mouse cursor, you can see the edge of the, it's um, starting to get there. I'll just um, zoom out again to see how the cloning is affecting. But if we're then bringing it down and bringing it much closer, we can only want to clone specific parts of it and then keep the edging of the garden untouched. So I'll bring it in just a little bit tighter and move it a little bit more to the right. So once we close the retouching the area that we have with, you can see a little bit of distortion around the edges here, but I think on the whole it's um, doing quite well. And if we go into history, you can see the original and then the retouched version. So from there, we want to go find export. So click out light table and then export. And I'll just do it as a JPEG. Select the file to export. It'll export it again. I'll just in finally compare them side by side. So we've got no ball and the one with the ball. And that's it.